Hello fellow survivors, this is your buddy RV Guy back again with another little quick video review. And right in front of the camera guys, what I have is my Schwinn OR2 bicycle. I like to call it my survival bike. I've added some uh, leather bags on it where I can put things in in case I need to. I put a, a little rack on the front and one in the back. And I got a trunk bag and some saddle bags. And these bags are made of leather guys. And... Over the years I've had this, the sun beating on it and stuff like that, I've noticed a little cracking. So I've decided to find out what I can use to keep these bags uh, nice. Let me zoom in on that there if you can see it. There's some cracking there and some stuff. And what I came up with to preserve the bags is this stuff here, guys. This is conditioning oil, all right? It's supposed to nourish and waterproof and smooth in the leather, add moisture to it, and prevent the cracking. And this is made by Kiwi. You guys can see it. And this is what it looks like. It looks like it uh, comes in kind of like a shoe polish tin, but it's um amberish yellowish color. And this stuff is supposed to uh, keep the leather in good shape. And that's what I want because I've had these bags for a long time and it over the years I've done a lot of modifications to the spike to get it just the way I wanted I think I found the perfect system later on I'll do a video on a bicycle guys but what I really want to do now is a video on how you can preserve your leather now you can use this stuff not only for bags for boots for leather coats for all that stuff and it's supposed to keep the leather moist and flexible so it doesn't crack so let's get to it okay guys what I have in front of you is one of the saddlebags, and as you can see, like around in here, there's the cracking and stuff. And I'm going to try to use this Kiwi conditioner, like I showed you guys before. I'm going to use this stuff to try to preserve these uh, bags, because I'm not sure if I can find bags like this again. Um, if I can, I'll be very lucky, but yeah, I'm going to rub it all over. And what I'm going to be using is this microfiber cloth, and it says... What you're going to do is you're just going to take a generous amount of it and apply it to the bag. And I'm going to try to put it where all in the crevices and everywhere that it's cracked. Okay. All over. And what they say is you rub this in and you just uh, rub off the excess, guys. Here, let me fix the bike. It's tilting over. There we go. You can stay up there like that. Yeah. You rub it in and you rub off the excess. Okay. So you put a generous, generous amount. And what's good with this stuff is if you got a good pair of leather boots, maybe you have an older leather jacket that you want to take care of, this will preserve it, guys. Let's put a little bit more on there. All in the cracks. On the uh, straps. Yeah, if you have a good pair of leather boots, old pair of leather boots that are good, or just to just keep your good leather boots good. If you have a leather jacket, um, I don't know anything leather. Maybe even your car seats, right? If you have leather car seats and you want to keep them from cracking, because we know what the sun does when it shines through the windshield of the cars. Right? It'll crack those leather seats up and dry them out. This stuff is supposed to prevent that from happening. But if we look at it, it does give it a shine. And not only that, it waterproofs it, which is perfect for this. Because, you know, you're out riding in the sun and the rain and all different things like that. And you want to keep your stuff nice and uh, protected from the elements. And that's what this will do. Okay. I mean, nowadays with the way things cost, the prices of everything is so high, doesn't it make sense to um, invest in something that'll take care of it, that'll keep it at its best condition as possible? Yeah. All right. Let me zoom in on that. All right, we're going to add a little bit more in the top there where the flat bends over. 
just in case, because that's where some of the cracking is when you open and close these flaps. But um, yeah, I made this bike with an idea of if I ever had to pack anything away, I could on it and be able to carry things, you know? Not too much, but just enough for what I need. All right, let's see. All right, there we go, see? Right in the crevices. Looks a lot better. All right, let's try this little pouch right here. That's the pouch for the tires, guys. I keep a spare inner tube or a fold-up tire in there, just in case. But um, it's leather also. Um, what you want to do is you just want to rub it all around. Straps, everything. And you want to let this stuff dry. Now, it says to wipe off the excess... But I never really put that much where there's excess on there. So I just leave it on, let it dry on there. But um, I can see the difference in it already. And uh, this is going to be a test for all my other stuff. Because if this stuff works out good, I'm going to do my jackets, my leather coats, my everything. Stuff that's in the closet that I don't wear that much. That just sit there. And it's prone to drying out. I'm just going to go over it. But uh, yeah. I think this stuff is pretty good. And the best part about it is it only costs about five bucks. A little over four dollars. You can get this at Walmart or Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Um, for anybody who has leather items that you value, your valuable stuff, and you want to keep it from cracking, you want to keep it the leather moist and good condition and shiny, I would invest in this, guys. Now look at that. You guys can see the difference of what it looked like before. Take a look at that, huh? And that's going to put a protective barrier on your stuff, guys. A protective barrier on your stuff from the elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to do the rest of this bike. But this is just a quick little video of what I want to show you about uh, this Kiwi stuff, guys. Like I said, Kiwi is pretty good. They make shoe polish and all different type of stuff. But... I would suggest anybody get this stuff. This Kiwi conditioning oil. It nourishes, waterproofs, and smoothens leather. Um, I think this is a good little product for five bucks, right? To protect your leather items that might cost hundreds of dollars. It's a no-brainer. But yeah, this was the one I wanted to show you guys today. This has been your buddy RV Guy. Until next time, peace.